Hey, what's up guys? Good morning. Today I'm going to be vlogging about my experience being a Lala Move driver for a day. And the reason I'm doing this is because I feel like a lot of people are curious and I myself am like, I'm dying to know. I've been so curious to find out how much they can make in a in an, in like an actual day. So just a few parameters before we start. I'll be doing it in my very trusty Toyota Asia. I think it can go a lot of places. It's small, it's compact, and it saves a lot of petrol as well. I'll probably have one hour for break. And when I say the whole day, I don't mean like until the night time. It's about 9.30 right now, and I'll probably be working until 5.30. So it's like office working hours lah basically. So I'm very curious, you know, before we begin, how much do you guys think I can make in these few hours? My conservative estimate is that I think it's possible to make... I think it's possible to make 100 ringgit a day lah. But uh, yeah, you know what, let's just... I'm so scared! Ah! <laughs> Now again, like I said, full disclosure, there's, there's already like a job done because I mean, I was very nervous. I didn't know how this works. So I got my wife Phoebe to order something and I just did like that fake delivery uh, just to know how it works and you know what what, what it just feels like. All right, so we've got one Taman Mayang to Kota Damansara. It says car, it says what, 11 ringgit or something like that. So I'm going to just click into it right now. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Okay, is it matching? Oh my God, I got it. I got it. All right, I think I think I got to I got to I gotta start moving, right? I gotta, I gotta keep, I gotta call, I gotta go now, right? Oh my gosh, it's just, oh shit, this is serious. Okay. Yeah, you know what, I'm just gonna drop you guys for a second and I'll come back to you guys because I need to get this done. It's, it's, I'm a proper lala. Okay, okay, bye, 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 bye. I just wanna share with you guys. Uh, I'm very excited, I'm very nervous as well. And it, it's my first order, but the moment I pick up an order, right, it almost seems like the app, you know, it just goes insane. Like so many people are making orders and this, notifications for orders keep coming up. I don't know how it works in the sense that can I pick up multiple orders, but I'm just gonna do it one by one just to be safe, you know what I mean? So yeah, so it's cool. I think it's a cake order, so I gotta be really careful. All right guys, I picked it up, my very first order. It's very nice cake and I've just set it behind there and I'm determined to make my first order a success. So I'm not gonna drive very far, I'm gonna drive very slowly. I'm starting my start point in PJ just cause that's where I live and I think it's like a hot spot for deliveries. But for now, it's time to complete my first delivery. I'm going to my very first customer to drop the pastries off. Ah! Hi! I'm vlogging because I'm doing Lala Moon for the first time in my life. So, this is my very first successful delivery. How do I... I can go from here? There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Is it in good condition? It is. Pass, ah? Pass. Okay, fantastic. Excellent. God bless you. See you. Bye-bye. Yes, guys, we did it. Our first delivery. Woo! That's awesome. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I need to take a photo. Let's see. Oh, mama. 17 ringgit 45 cents. First order. And it's 8 ringgit 78 cents. It's, it's not a lot, guys. It's really not a lot. But I don't know. I This sense of... Uh, oh, man, this is a great sense of achievement. Like, honestly, I'm so happy I did my first order. It's 8 ringgit, but I feel so accomplished. Wow. One thing I realized, right, about, like, these orders, you kind of want to, I mean, I just learned after just one delivery that like you kind of want to pick up things that are from ground floor stuff. So for example, you pick up from a house to another house because if you got to like park your car, go up and grab it or go into a mall, or go into a, a condo or something, it's going to be a little bit more ma fun in that sense. Hi, my name is Brandon yes. and I am your Lala Move driver for today. Okay. Okay. I'm going to do a good job. It's going to okay. arrive at one piece, okay? So Confident? Yes. Okay, see you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Bye-bye. <laughs> She's so nice! What I realized about setting pastries earlier is that I took a little bit longer to arrive at my drop-off location simply because I wanted to drive a little bit slower. So I drove about like 30% slower just to make sure that the pastries, they don't get messed up. It depends on what you like take as well. So for now, I'm gonna like really, not to say speed or whatever, but I'm gonna go a little bit faster to get to my destination. Got it? Good? Everything good? Thank you! But here's one thing I realized guys while doing Lala Move is that you face the jam. So it's very important, I think, to have in car entertainment because I think Lala Mood drivers 90% of the time is spent on the road only 10% is spent with interacting with the customers whether it's the person who ordered the pickup or you're going to drop it off to the customer for me I think it's a lovely time to just put on some worship songs and just you know worship God while I'm on the road I think it's a perfect perfect time to do that and to just pray and stuff like that but that's just me you know a lot of people I don't know what they do maybe you can tell me if you're a Lala Mood driver watching this how do you entertain yourself in the car Hi, Brendan. Nice to meet you. So this is the stuff, right? Yeah, 
uh, you treat it like cake, don't topper. No problem. Okay. I <laughs> promise you, I will deliver it with everything intact. Because I'm the world's greatest Lala Move driver. I'm gonna give it its own seat belt. All right, guys, we're about to have a very, very happy customer. Hello, hey, Sheena. Yes. What so big camera? This is for you. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm vlogging my uh, experience to see how much one can make using Lala Move. So it's my first time Lala Moving today. <laughs> okay, dear. So if you don't mind me, I'm gonna vlog this whole journey. Wait, wait, wait. I need to take photo. Smile. What to smile very face? You are. Okay, pass. Okay, I go. Got it, huh? Thank you so much. Thanks, Thanks Alshina. God bless. Bye bye. Yes, guys. It's about 12 p.m. So I think it's a good time to just break for lunch. And I'm in Sunway. So what better place to eat than here? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kubis and Kale. Can I have the shoyu salmon? Yeah, sure. But I want to plus uh, some cooked miso as well. Okay, sure. Uh, you want a bit apple sauce? Oh, how do you know? <laughs> my gosh, this girl remembers my favorite drink, guys. Beet apple. See, look at her, she looks so healthy, look at that. Because she eats Kubis and Kale every day. <laughs> that, that's not true by the way. <laughs> Don't take my word for it, yeah? Alright guys, so I'm on a little break right now. To show you my wallet right now, it looks like this. So there is about 38 ringgit there, minus the 8 ringgit. So I've earned about 30 ringgit in about 3 rides. And I've got about 5 hours, or minus lunch, I've got about, about 4 hours, 4 and a half hours to make it to my goal of 100 ringgit. Am I confident I can make it? To be honest with you, I'm not very confident, but um, I'm gonna have a very quick lunch and I'm gonna head out and achieve this 100 ringgit. Look at that glorious bowl. We've got a shoyu salmon, coke miso as well. And I love it guys, they remember my favorite drink of all time, the beet apple. Thank, Thank you for a great you. lunch. See you. Bye-bye. So that was a great lunch. For now, I gotta get back on the road. I gotta try and achieve my target. So I gotta start picking out orders again. I've done only three and I've already taken lunch break. So after this, it's just chung all the way. Hello. Hope you don't mind me vlogging a little bit. Okay, so this is the one. Yeah. There we go. I'll just put it there. Okay. You know what? As always, I'll put a seatbelt for the guy as well. <laughs> Alright guys, I finally arrived. Uh, if I got one advice for Lala Move drivers, if you're going to do this in the future, try and avoid Puchong because this place, don't get me wrong, Puchong is a nice place but it's just so ridiculously jammed. 45 ringgit, 99 cents. Minus again about 8 ringgit, just slightly over 30 ringgit. Alright, so I am on to my next delivery right now. It's supposed to be a motorbike but I still took it up because I just wanted to try whether it's possible. So yes, number one, it is possible. Number two is because I took it because it's heading towards Bandar Sunway. And I kind of want to get out of Puchong if I'm going to be honest with you. So I just took the wrong road and uh, it delayed my journey by 10 minutes. So I'm a little bit frustrated myself right now. But I guess it's one of the, you know, the things that just come with doing this. Sometimes you take the wrong road and then you end up going a big round instead. Hello. Huh? Okay, thank you so much. Let's go, let's get out of Puchong guys. I can't, I cannot Puchong. I love you Puchong but oh my gosh this place. So another thing of why I think you shouldn't come to Puchong is because there is a toll to come into Puchong and there is also a toll to go out of Puchong. So I don't know how it works in terms of the expenses whether it gets built to the customer or whether I just pay myself. For now I've just been paying all of myself and I don't know what the process is but I'll definitely like calculate it off. Alright guys we've arrived, we're finally out of Puchong. Okay, bye bye. Bye. Thank you, bye Thank you. It's just over 50 ringgit. Alright, got another one. Let's go. So yes guys we are here and this is Wapuni. Dry ice. Oh. We send it dry ice to Germany to send to Hong Kong, China. Oh, the, okay, okay, okay. Cool, cool, come, 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 come. My face is not okay right now. <laughs> you look fine, okay? You, you look totally fine. <laughs> She's so self conscious, guys. Yeah, very you look lipstick. fine. You got makeup on, I can tell. Yeah. So don't worry, you look very, very good. Your first day sending dry ice. Oh, <laughs> she's so nice. Carry this. Ah, oh, bright you. These are one pack of beras rice. Oh, one pack of rice, yeah, 30 kilos. Come on, thank right. you. There you go. Thank, thank you. you so much. See you. Have a good one. Have Thanks a, nice a lot. Day. You too. I love it when I meet uh, very nice uh, people, you know, and they're so kind. And guys, this is what Malaysian hospitality is all about. I love it. Okay, point it, huh? Alright, bye bye. 61 minus 8 is just over 50 ringgit. I don't think we're actually gonna make it to 100 ringgit. I'm not sure. Okay, so I just saw one right now. It's from section 17 to Churras 9 miles. Which is super duper far, but it's like 20 ringgit. Oh, I got it! Okay guys, so let's do this. I'm going to Churras. Hopefully I'll make it back by 5 p.m. or 5.30 p.m., something like that. And we can reach our target of 100 ringgit. 
Don't give up. Keep it up. Hello. Hello. Hi. Is this the one? Yes. Please God, please let there be no jam or no rain or no whatsoever. In Jesus' name, Amen. Ah. Quick check on the wallet, guys. It is 78 ringgit 21 cents. But you got a minus of the 8 ringgit when we started off, so it's about 70 ringgit right now. Hello. Hi. Hi. So yeah, I'm here to collect the PlayStation 5. Uh, yes. So this is the one? This is the one. I'm not sure how this happened, but I am right smack in the middle of Churras right now. And I'm going to Sagambut. Man. Don't know lah, I feel like Lala Move should give an incentive to drivers who put in the extra effort to connect with the customers, to make sure that the items are properly secured. So I think Lala Move should consider lah this kind of incentive for certain drivers lah. Hmm. Hi, are you the recipient of the PS5? PS5 successfully delivered. Alright, let's go. Last delivery guys. Let's check out the wallet right now first to see what's the amount. It's still 74.89 but we need to plus the, I don't know, 16 or 17 ringgit. Last one, let's go! I don't know what I'm actually delivering but it feels like there is going to be a ton of things that I need to deliver. Okay guys, this is a whole bunch of stuff by the way. I think it should have at least tell me that there's so many things to expect. I had no idea there's so many things there. But it doesn't matter guys because it's always about the customer. Alright guys, I've officially arrived at my last location. Woohoo! So I'm shooting a vlog. So this is my first time being a Lalamu driver. So I'm shooting a video. Mandarin class. Have a good day. Bye bye. It's done guys, I'm done! Woo! My last Lala Move delivery at the kindergarten. Wow! That was that was quite a lot to do man. That was really a lot to do. But uh, they're happy. And as usual, if they're happy, I'm happy. We did it! Everything is done and completed. So I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna calculate the total and minus off basically everything, all the expenses and we'll find out how much we made today. Let's go! So I am back home right now. It's been about a week since I did the Lala Move vlog and uh, I've had the time to sort of just summarize my thoughts and give some concluding remarks as well and also to calculate the amount of total profits that I made after minusing all the other expenses. So just to recap a little bit, I worked about eight hours in that day with an allocation of one hour lunch break in between as well. And I made about eight or nine trips, I'm not mistaken, about eight trips I would say in total. And I actually initially had a target of uh, reaching 100 ringgit for the entire days of work. This is revenue, not profit. So, I'm about to reveal the total revenue that I got from one days of work. My total revenue is right here in my hands. It is a grand total of 92 ringgit and 82 cents. There we go, I don't know if you guys can see it. That is the total revenue of how much I earned in that day, just shy of the 100 ringgit target that I had initially. So not too bad, all things considered. So the next thing you go to minus off is the total expenses that we incurred during the day. First things first is the toll. I didn't know whether the toll was actually billed to me or the customer. I actually thought that you could somewhat bill it uh, to the customer, but no, uh, it's all on the driver. So my total cost for the toll was 6 ringgit and 10 cents. The other bulk of the cost is of course petrol. Um, I would estimate that I use maybe about 15 to 20 ringgit worth of petrol, but I'm gonna put it to the higher end of this estimate which is 20 ringgit so go to myself 20 ringgit as well from my revenue now of course the other expense is lunch which was not included as you can tell i had lunch in uh, kubis and kill and now that place is sponsored so i can't really include that amount that i spent in kubis and kill into this because it wouldn't be as realistic but initially i actually budgeted and set aside a 10 ringgit budget for lunch so i'm going to minus that off and i'm going to use 10 ringgit because it's just more realistic so minus all of these costs it will bring us to the total profit of 56 ringgit and 72 cents. Now, I'm sure the biggest question you're asking all in your head right now is, is it worth it, Brandon? Is it worth going through all that trouble for 56 ringgit and 72 cents? Before I answer that, I'm going to tell you and just share with you what I enjoyed versus what I didn't enjoy being a Lala Move driver. The first thing that I enjoy is really just meeting all these people. It's actually really, really fun, you know, because we get a chance to meet all kinds of people when we're on the road. Whether it's the person you're picking up things from or whether it's the person you're sending things to, Two, it's very very fun just being able to communicate with them and just put in a little effort to ask them how's your day doing, what are they up to. I guess I'm just more of a people person. I also actually, in a weird way when I say that, 
It sounds so ironic right now because the other part I enjoy is actually the little quiet time that I have in the car. It's quite refreshing to just spend that time alone, just blasting music, whether it's worship songs, whether I'm praying, whether it's just any other songs, you know, just singing at the top of my lungs. So I actually quite enjoyed that as well. Of course, being in Malaysia, the things that I really didn't enjoy is the roads because it's just constantly jammed. So yeah, the road system in Malaysia is not the greatest. So you have to be prepared mentally that you will be inevitably stuck in a jam no matter what time of the day it is. In conclusion, what do I think? Whew. Now, if you have nothing to do, like absolutely nothing to do, then yes, I would say it's worth it that 56 ringgit 72 cents a day I'd say it's worth it. If any retirees are watching this video, I would say go out and do it because you get to meet people, you keep your mind sharp as well. Now think about it, 56 ringgit 72 cents. It is not a lot of money because if you retire that by 30 days, if you work every single day, you'll be only earning about 1,700 ringgit a month. Of course, this is not to say a lot, not to say little, but it's decent. But what I believe is I think you could get a decent job outside of being a Lalamu driver for 1,700 or even potentially more than 1,700 ringgit. Uh, 1,700 ringgit a month. Now, again, this is a conservative estimate because uh, I believe I could have done at least one or two more jobs if I weren't vlogging, right? So I was busy taking videos as well. So that is gonna uh, not allow me to do as many jobs as I want. Also, I only took one job order at a time because I was a newbie, right? I didn't want to take multiple orders, but I think you maybe can take multiple orders. So that could add to your income as well. So what I'm having, the profit that I made is, again, note that it is the bare minimum. It's the lowest of the lowest that you could potentially make. So. Is it worth it? Is doing Lala Move good? Yeah, I would say it's, it's good. Is it great? Probably not. Like I said, if you got nothing to do, I would highly advise that this is good for you because you are churning out at least an income from an asset they already have, especially if you're a, uh, an existing driver. So I hope you guys enjoy this vlog and uh, hopefully I get to do more of this kind of stuff as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys again next time. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye.